Hello Geographers and welcome. In this video we will be dealing with what we call magnetic declination. So in front of me here I have the map of KwaZulu-Natal in a place called Richmond. It's a 1 is 250 thousand map, a beautiful map that is. So a typical exam question I have in front of me here, which reads, calculate the present magnetic declination of Richmond. So let's tackle the question and let's get to it. So for every map that we use in geography, you will always have uh, information about the mean magnetic declination and mean annual change, including the date of the map. This information is included at the either at the bottom of the map or on either side of of your map that you are using in both topographic and auto photo auto photo map. So for this map that I'm using here, which is the map of Richmond, the mean magnetic declination is 23 degrees 10 minutes west of True North, and the date it's July 2002. And the mean annual change, it's 12 west watts, which was record recorded between 2000 and 2005, right? As it's supplied by Harmanas Magnetic Observatory. So let me just write this information down over here. The mean magnetic, magnetic declination. is 23 degrees 10 minutes west of true north with the date uh, which is uh, 2002 of july and the mean annual change is 12 minutes 12 minutes of west watts. So you need to note that both directions are west watts. So in some instances, which rarely happens these days, whereby you have different, whereby your annual change will be either east or west, but in this case it's east, it's west, all right? So when calculating the present magnetic declination of Richmond, the key word here is present magnetic declination, meaning we need to use the current year. So the first step is trying to calculate the difference in years. Now remember, the date of the map is 2002, all right? So the first step you can just write there, difference in years. So what is difference in years, meaning you subtract the current year to the date of map all right so in this case this will be 2023 minus 2002 so 2023 minus 2002 your answer will be 21 21 years right so the second step is calculating the mean or the total annual change from the mean annual change that you are that you are given all right so you can just write there as total annual change from the one we are given we have 12 um 12 minutes right this thing right here represent minutes okay so we're going to take this 12 uh, minutes west and multiply it with 21 years to get the total annual change okay so 12 minutes time is 21 remember it's west what whatever answer we get we're going to write it as as um as west what okay so when i punch this on my calculator 12 times 21 should give me 252 west right so remember this is now in in minutes because we're converting our years into into minutes which is our total annual 
change right so now we have the total annual change what we can do now is to try to find the total magnetic decline declination all right and you can also write this in your uh, answer script each time to show different steps that what you are calculating in order for the examiner or your teacher to follow when marking all right so the total magnetic declination is what we're gonna calculate next because we have found declination because we have found um our total annual change now remember the mean magnetic declination that we are given it's 23 degrees uh 10 minutes to the west all right so when you calculate the total magnetic declination you're going to take uh your mean magnetic declination and add it to uh the total annual change why are we adding because we have the same direction which is west and west over over here so you're going to say 23 degrees 10 minutes west plus 252 minutes of what of annual change that you found uh which is west what in total so don't forget that minutes will add into minutes so our degrees will uh, go down as 23 degrees for us not to confuse ourselves 10 plus 252 will give us 260 262 minutes to to the worst so this is not your final answer the 23 degrees 262 minutes two words is not the final answer why because in geography we know that uh one degree is equals to 60 60 minutes whereas one minute is equals to 60 seconds right so when you get to this answer here your minutes are not supposed to be greater than 60 meaning you'll have to subtract 60 and add uh, the, a degree to the 23 or to your degrees up until we have the minutes which are less than 60. So let's do that, okay? So in this case, you're going to say 262 minutes minus 60, right? And the answer we get, we're going to add into uh, we got to get one degree into the 23. So the answer will be 24 degrees, 262, 262 minus 60 will give us 202 minutes to my, to my worst. Okay, so we minus the 60 and according to this rule, we know one degree equals to 60 minutes we add the degree into our answer right, right right here okay so as you check here um your minutes are still greater than 60 so we're simply going to subtract our 60 from 202 so 202 minus 60 your answer is 142 so we add a degree in here which is now 25 degrees 142 minutes to my worst and we haven't reached our goal of 60 minutes and less okay meaning we continue to subtract 60 up until we get the minutes which are less than 60 so this will be 26 degrees 142 minus 60 is 82 minutes to my to my worst we also gonna subtract from 8260 because we haven't reached our goal. So this will be 27 degrees, 82 minutes minus 60 will give you 22 minutes to my worst. And your answer is com complete. I hope you guys managed to grab something from this calculation of uh, the 
present magnetic declination of Richmond of the map we were using today. So let me know in the comment section what you think and if you have any questions just type them in the comment section. Remember to like, share and subscribe.